Hi, uh, yo, welcome to day number five. Today we go to Osaka, Shimo Kanazawa, and the Tokyo Sky Tree, but this time we're trying $67 eel. Still can't believe I spent $67 on that piece of eel. So, Osaka is this, it's like this massive temple shrine place. I had a look around, looked at the different stores, walked to the massive temple, gave the temple like 10 bucks. I prayed, obviously. Went outside, blew some smoke in my face, and I think that's the, the ritual. I did what you I think you're meant to do. I think I, I think that's the right thing to do. I'm not, I'm not too sure. One thing you should know about me is I'm Japanese, but I'm, I'm probably the most uncultured Japanese person you'll ever meet. If you guys are Japanese, then please let me know how I can just experience Asakusa better and do do it properly. Now, Asakusa is known for their... Now, I'm, I'm saying they're known for their... I don't really know if they're known for this, but they have, like, some really good, like, food stores where you can just get, like, you know, like, these sick deep-fried dishes and you can get, like, really nice smoothies and stuff. Last time I went, got these really delicious, like, beef pork bun Wait. I got beef buns of some sort and they were really, really delicious and I thought I, I got that, but it turned out it wasn't that. No idea what this is, but... Holy shit, that's good. It was like deep fried a yakadon in a bowl. And then if you guys know me, I love strawberry like smoothies, milkshakes. And so yeah, I got this strawberry smoothie. It was like delicious. Right, this looks so good, man. So it was like probably the best smoothie that I've ever had in my life. Uh, it did cost eight bucks, a bit pricey, but it was worth it. Holy shit. It's like the best strawberry drink I've ever had in my life. Oh, you're gonna be fucking kidding me. Now after Osaka, I decided to go to Shimo Kanazawa. Now this is basically like a town decked out and full of thrift stores, which is like, it's like very, very cool. So I was very amped up. And if you guys know me, I love thrift shopping. Pretty much every store I went into, I was like, oh, okay. This is dangerous for my bank account. So yeah, if you guys like thrift shopping, then I highly recommend it. It's around, I think it's down where Shibuya, Shinjuku, Harajuku is. I think it's only like one or two stops uh, from those stations. So yeah, if you end up going down that way, highly recommend. Then it was time to try the $67 eel. So I ended up coming across this eel place. I was like, this looks delicious. Let's do it. And then I looked at the price and I was like, wow, like these eels cost an astronomical amount of money. What's going on? Like I can literally go a sushi hub and get an eel for like two dollars in australia then i thought about it a bit more and i was like wait a second what if this 67 dollar eel is so good that i won't shut up about it for the rest of my life and so i decided to bite the bullet and i decided to go in there and it was an interesting experience okay so i decided that you know since i was spending 67 dollars for a piece of eel that I'd vlog and I'd do like a proper food review. I don't know how people do that. I don't know how Mike Chen, Simply Dumpling or stri Strictly Dumpling, I don't know how all these like food review people like just put a camera on a table and just record them eating and like talking to the camera whilst they're eating in a restaurant full of other people and staff. Like, you know how embarrassing that shit was? So basically like anytime the staff went, it was, it was so weird, man. Like there was basically, so the table is here and then there's like this wall here and then there's another wall where the cashier is. Like any time like I'd start talking, they'd kind of like prop their head out like around the wall. And I could see the heads. Like I could clearly, like it, they weren't like sneaky at all. They're like, like it was like, and even where the cooking, like where they cook, there's like curtains. The chef once like poked his head out. Like, What's going on here? I, I should have known that this was going to happen. I just didn't know that that was what was gonna happen honestly i was like wow this is is this what it's like is this what mike chen and like all these other food review people like go through when they do this i don't think i, I don't think i can do this honestly ever again it, it felt like there was a lot riding on my reaction and my review of the food it, 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 <laughs> <laughs> and it got even worse when I took my first bite. So basically the manager and there were two staff members just like with their hands behind their back, like staring at me whilst I took my first bite. And I, I didn't, I, I got flustered. I did not know what to do. Yo, they're all watching me right now. And unfortunately, to make things worse, when I eat food and really good food, I tend to have a disgusted face on my face. I have a disgusted face on my. I look like I'm disgusted in the food when I'm really enjoying it. So I had to be conscious of that as well. 
it was a, it was difficult. It was really really difficult. It was actually just, like very stressful. Feeling immense pressure to show them that I really like this. So yeah, anyways, uh, let me explain what I got. So I got this uh, Ochazuke set. So basically it's a bowl of ice with eel on top and then there's this soup and then there's also like all these different, like there's wasabi, there's spring onions, there's seaweed. Yeah, yeah, so I think, I think that's it. So basically you eat the eel and the rice by itself first and then you add the wasabi, you add the, you know, the spring onions and the seaweed. And then after that, when you've got like a third of the bowl left, you basically put the soup in. And so it's like, you know, this whole experience thing. And honestly, I couldn't give my honest review of the food there because I, I just got too nervous and I didn't want to, I, I felt like if I said anything apart from this food is the best food I've ever had in my life, they would have probably cried. And I just I just couldn't do that to them. Oh, so good. Oh, so good. Mm. That's really good. That's really good. The food was is good, but would I pay sixty seven dollars for it again? Probably not. Now I fingers crossed these people never see this video. It was fuck, man. I now I just feel bad. Uh, Oh wait, shit, the receipt's here. Um, I made a mistake. So it's actually $74. What have I done? It was good. Look, it was, it was good. It was, it was, it was, oh God. See, this is the pain because I, I, I don't want to be rude, but also I want to be honest with you guys. I got to pick, I got to pick honesty. It was not worth 67. Oh God, it, it pains me to say that. It was not worth $67. All right, so um, that was a $74 eel. I don't, I don't know how to feel about that. Uh, for the next like a few days, I just could not comprehend the fact that I spent $67 on that piece of eel. Like I can literally go to the supermarket and buy a fantastic meal for $10. If it were in Melbourne, like I probably wouldn't care too much because it's just like, you know, Melbourne prices are like always ridiculous when it comes to like Japanese food most of the time. But the fact it was like $74 in Japan, well, wow. but in Japan, like where there's so much good food, uh, I was just like, I wasn't disappointed. It was good. I, I was just blown away. $67 for like a, an eel in Japan. This, like, I think my expectations were too high. I was like, okay, if this is $67, then this is going to change my life. But then again, if you think about it, like, well, that's no, that's a, that's a lot. If, even if you think about it, it's a lot. I recommend that you know uh, you probably you, you probably don't need to try it, but if you want to, by all means, go ahead. The staff were lovely. They, yeah, they were. They really care. I think I'm just gonna try and run home so I can save some money. So yeah. Uh, that was day five. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this vlog. Tomorrow, I actually meet up with my cousin and my cousin's little son, who's four years old. Absolute menace to society. Um, great vlog content, but he's an absolute menace to society. So I'm sure you guys will enjoy seeing that. But thank you again for the support. Thank you for just watching my videos. It's been absolutely crazy. The fact that we got, that we're getting like 300 plus views is, I don't know, it's, it's uh, like absurd. So yeah, I appreciate the support guys and I'll see you guys in my next video. Still cannot believe I spent $67 on that piece of fucking eel.